In this video, we're going to show an example of an automated backward selection logistic regression model. We're going to use the command stepwise, and you could search help stepwise to learn more about that. So now we'll run the model. We could use the acronym SW instead of stepwise. Um, in between SW and a comma is the model with the variables you want to use. After the comma, we have PR, which is what we set as the significance level for removal from the model, and PE as a significance level for addition to the model. And having both of these terms makes this a stepwise selection. Running the code like this treats each variable as a continuous variable. We need to demarcate which ones are categorical variables for Stata to conduct the proper calculations. We accomplish this by adding i dot in front of categorical variables. Running this code, we get an error. Factor variable and time series operators not allowed. To bypass this issue, we add xi colon to the front, which is the interaction expansion command. What this does is that it creates a binary variable for each category in a categorical variable. And this allows Stata to process the logistic regression. The issue now is, is that Stata processed each dummy variable as an individual variable rather than the entire categorical variable as a whole. To deal with this is simple, just add parentheses around categorical variables. Here we can see that Stata process each categorical variable as a whole instead of separate binary variables, as evidenced by the fact that there are p-values greater than 0.1. For a cleaner view, you could run a logistic model with the variables identified. We see that Stata removed a few categories from the variable occupation. We could see why the tabulating occupation and wage 8. And we find zero people in several categories. I hope this video was useful for those getting started with Stata. Thank you for watching.